with the successful acquisition of Signal from the Orion spacecraft. The team here in Mission Control, Houston, will evaluate the spacecraft systems to evaluate performance of the outbound powered flyby burn, which occurred 18 minutes and 50 seconds ago. And you're looking at this view on your screen from the Orion spacecraft as it looks back at planet Earth having launched just five days ago. Orion is now over 230,000 miles away from Earth. Orion emerged from the backside of the moon just minutes ago after completing the outbound powered flyby burn. That burn occurring 21 minutes ago. While behind the moon, Orion completed its closest approach to the moon at a distance of 80 miles above the surface. And you're looking at a live view inside the Orion spacecraft. This is, of course, an uncrewed test flight, but we do have a couple of purposeful passengers that have hopped a ride on board Orion. You're looking at one there on the left of your screen. That is a Moonikin wearing the Orion crew survival suit. This is the, spa this is the space suit that crew will wear during dynamic phases of flight once we do have a crew on board, particularly during launch and entry situations.
the Ox or Orion crew survival suit can help keep astronauts alive if Orion were to lose cabin pressure during the journey out to the moon. Orion is, the Ox rather, is equipped to up to six days of life support systems as the crew makes their way back to Earth. And as part of this uncrewed test flight, there's a variety of sensors and data that will be pulled from the Orion crew survival suit to inform further design ahead of crewed flight test as part of Artemis II.